Everything we do on a daily basis has being produced from energy. So it is essential for, for you. Our daily life, so still today, 1.3 billion, almost 20% of the population don't have access to electricity. In the next 20 years, overall consumptions will double compared to what it is today. And the biggest challenge in terms of sustainable energy development is that as of today, as we speak, uh, 80% of the production of electricity is coming from fossil CO2 generating kind of energy or resources. So I think this is a challenge that we have to face. That's the system. Uh, our mission is connecting people and enabling them to imagine and deliver the solution that can harmonize product, nature and life for the energy sector with uh, digital uh, technologies. There is no single breakthrough innovation that can be done uh, by only one country or one team. Uh, so you have to connect talents. Over time, the balance between what is being produced locally versus what is being uh, sourced from the, the global grid system is going to evolve. Uh, and, and, and this is where you need to achieve that. Uh, new kind of systems uh, to uh, properly manage and optimize this mix of global energy sources and locally produce uh, energy. Smart grid is something that is necessary whenever you want to start producing uh, energy with renewable sources. Because you cannot decide when you're going to have sun or wind, but you can decide when you want this energy. So for example, starting at six in the morning, you will slowly charge your storage from the grid because the grid can give you energy. When the sun comes up, then you will get some solar energy and you can decide that you will store it also because you know that in the evening it will be useful. Then the wind comes up and you can decide also to keep it and you can store everything as much as you can. And so you can reverse the flow and from your storage give energy back to the grid. Let's take a, a little island or a place. Water is energy. When you see a current or a river or the sea, you can get that energy via uh, hydro turbines. Wind is energy, you get wind turbines. Light uh, is energy. Biomass, waste, your food, all this is energy. So you see it's blending renewable energy, blending storages and putting a little bit of IT around all this. We can apply these technologies mostly to small village or um, small cities in area where the electrical grid is weak or uh, use energy which comes from fossil uh, resources. We are going to move to a world where you will have different places, people at home, industrial zones, cities that are going to start producing their own energy by harvesting the different sources that they have locally. And you need an architect for all of this. You need brains. And those brains are placed in small cabinets with the algorithm. And in this place, our colleagues are building those cabinets and also developing the algorithm and the brains that are going to operate them. People who are in those remote locations without uh, access to the electricity uh, are usually in countries where it's very complex to extend the, the traditional uh, global grids. We have today an affordable and easy to install, easy to use way to store locally produced energy so you can deal with this kind of uh, gap between production and, and consumption. We have this this handy fusion reactor in the sky called the sun. Okay. <laughs> you don't have to do anything. It just works. <laughs> Shows up every day and produces ridiculous amounts of power. Now, the obvious problem with solar power is that the sun does not shine at night. So we have to come up with a solution. So this is this little product we call the Tesla Powerwall. Everybody's talking about this energy transition. Everybody gets concerned because everybody cares for the climate and the planet. And what is great is that with the development of digital and the development of the equipment that you see behind me, we come to a world with, where blending these energies, blending local production, local consumption with larger systems of consumption and production becomes feasible. It's complicated, but it's feasible. So we are really tapping into a new world of energy transition, and it's a worldwide shift. 
is not only about developing new energies, it's about changing the overall equation, but it will take a, a massive transformation on, on everything you see around you will have to change.